everyone, so whenever we put up a video, uh, the most common question that we get is, well, where is this place and where can we go fishing? Well, if it's a pretty popular fishery um, that, that's featured in the video, I tend to just answer it, but if it's a pretty sensitive fishery um, that doesn't do well when it comes to crowding, um, I would not say it. But there are several different ways that you can figure out where you should go fishing. And in this video, that's why we're going to be talking about that and let's get to it. So the very first thing you need to do is pick up a copy of this. So this is the BC Freshwater Fishing Regulation Synopsis. So it lists out all the regulations that you need to know when it comes to freshwater fishing in British Columbia. So the first few pages uh, list out all the general regulations. But then when you get into the individual regions, um, it actually gives you a table on that has all the rivers and lakes where you can fish. So these t tables have um, individual regulations that apply to a particular watersheds. And uh, so you need to know that, but they actually give you great hints where exactly you should be fishing. So a po popular put and take lake fishery would be, have a pretty loose regulation, such as um, you can keep a daily quota of trout, let's say four or five fish, and uh, the regulation when it comes to tuna tackle is also pretty, uh, pretty loose, so such as um, you can use barb hooks, you can use uh, bait, and things like that. So those would be an ideal fishery for families and beginners and kids. Uh, whereas if you look at some of the lakes um, where catch and release applies to them and uh, you can't use bait and sometimes it's fly fishing only. So those lakes would be uh, what you would be considered as quality fishing waters. And those are more for um, experienced anglers looking for a challenge, catching bigger fish. Their fish are bigger because of the catch and release practice. Um, so yeah, so look through the tables and that usually gives you pretty good indications where, which lakes you can fish at. So once you pick up the lakes, the next thing you gotta do is head over here, get your laptop, get your computer, head to gofishbc.com and it's the website for the Freshwater Fishery Society of BC who are responsible for stocking over 800 lakes right across the province annually. And on the website, what you need to do is go to stock fish. And on this page here, you can actually get the stocking reports, the fish release reports um, of the lakes where you want to fish. So to generate a report, what you need to do is to select the region where you want to fish, select the water body uh, where you want to fish. So the name of the lake, and uh, you can also select the fish type if you want and uh, then you just generate port and uh, that will list out uh, all of the fish that have been released in the, that particular lake. Uh, gives you the number of fish that have been released, uh, gives you the average size of the fish that are released in, when they're releasing to them. The fish with an average size that's around 250 grams, uh, that will be a catchable rainbow trout. So those fish, once they're put into the lake, can be caught immediately. And so those would be an urban lake, would be a popular fishery for families, for kids, for beginners, um, because it's instant gratification. So you can, once the fish are released, you can go there and catch them right away. Uh, where some of the other lakes, um, the, the fish, uh, when they're released into the lakes, they're roughly around the yearlings. So they're roughly around 10 grams, you know, 20 grams. So those fish, they actually don't, um, don't they'll, 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 they'll stay in the lake, they'll grow, and uh, you can catch them on the following year, they'll be about a pound, and uh, after two years, it'll be two or three pounds, and uh, so, so different kind of management, and uh, so that kind of gives you an idea what kind of lakes you should be fishing at. So yeah, this is a great website to, uh, you should be visiting. Um, the website have actually just been updated, and uh, yes, uh, fishing reports on the website, you can also go to where to fish, um, which gives you an idea which lake where you should be fishing at. Um, on, in this section, it actually has, a, has the Google Maps in it as well. And uh, you can actually pick a lake and figure out uh, what kind of access this lake has. Uh, can you, does it have vehicle access? Well, when it comes to vehicle access, is it a four-wheel drive or a two-wheel drive? Or is it a hiking-only lake? Uh, does the lake have a boat launch? 
Um, does it have show access? Does it have a campsite? And things like that. So very, very handy information um, that you can have. So not only you need to know what kind of fish are in the lake that you're targeting, but access to the lake is also very, very important. So that, those are uh, resources that you can access at home. And uh, lastly, if you still need more information when it comes to how to catch these fish and what you should use, head to your local tackle stores. Um, your local tackle stores are run by avid anglers and, and usually they're pretty experienced anglers as well. And uh, you can always ask them questions on what kind of flies you should use, what kind of bait you should use, uh, what time of year you should be fishing at, um, at this lake, etc. And uh, yeah, so and quite often they get um, updated fishing reports as well from other customers. So you can usually benefit benefits from that as well. And uh, if you still need more information, you can always go to our website at fishingwithrod.com and uh, you can always email us, send, a, send us a message on Facebook and ask us uh, the questions. Uh, quite often I'm, I can't get to the questions right away just because we get so many questions. Um, but eventually I will get to most of them, so be patient when it comes to that. And uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm always putting out new videos. There'll be new videos on new fisheries um, in the coming year. So make sure you check back and watch them. Hope you enjoy them. And uh, until next time, good luck fishing.